Hey, I'm Nick with Table 19 Media, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the difference between shooting a real estate listing versus shooting a vacation rental, and the differences in how you approach each of those. Obviously, for both, you want them to look as best as possible, showing off the best parts of each of those properties. But in approaching the different angles and the, and the type of shots that you want to get for each of those, you might want to look at them a little bit differently. First, looking at who the client is that's going to be looking at the photos for the real estate listing, but also for the vacation rental. In the case of the real estate listing, the client potentially is looking at this as an investment or is looking at this as a forever home or a new place to, uh, to bring their family. So in taking that into account, we wanna make sure that we're getting angles uh, and shots of not only you know, the structure, the architecture of the property, but also um, you know, when it comes to uh, the different rooms and such, making sure that we have a clear view of the different things that they might end up wanting to renovate. So in the case of the kitchen, we wanna make sure that we get several shots that show not only the layout of the kitchen, but also the different appliances, uh, making sure that we can see the cabinets clearly, the counters, the backsplash. That's, those are important things that they're gonna to want to see to see if that's something that they're gonna to have to renovate or tear out, or you know they love it the way it is. Also for real estate listings, the layout and showing the layout of the property is very important as opposed to a rental listing or a vacation rental where that's not necessarily that important. But for a real estate listing, we want to make sure that they have a pretty good idea from looking at the photos, you know, sliding through the photos, that they have a good idea of how the house is laid out, how the property is laid out. So in this instance, we might want to take a few, sh a few shots that show how rooms connect how hallways are arranged, where the rooms are coming off the end, um, you know, how the, uh, the kitchen and the living room are connected. Also where uh, the master bedroom is in relation to the rest of the house. So those kinds of shots are important for real estate listings, but not so much important for vacation rental properties. The master bedroom and the master bathroom are particularly important in real estate listings because those are the rooms that will probably end up getting the most use of the new owners. So especially in the case of the master bathroom, we wanna showcase the tub, the shower, um, how, the, uh, you know, how the, uh, the vanity is laid out, um, how there's plenty of closet space uh, for that, that particular bathroom. As opposed to a rental property, we're not necessarily going to be showing them, you know, how much space is in the closet. Although it's important to show that, hey, there's a bath, there, there's a, a bathtub, there's the shower, here's the vanity, how that's all laid out. It might be a situation where you don't need to take one or two shots of the closet in the master because they're just going to be there for the weekend. So that's not a, they're, they're not bringing their whole wardrobe with them. But in the case of a real estate listing, getting a good shot at least one good shot of the master closet is a very important thing. In the case of vacation rentals, it's very important to show off the space, how things are laid out as far as making sure there's enough room for everybody to be comfortable in that space for however long they're going to be there. Now, a lot of times in the vacation rentals that I've shot, there's not only multiple rooms, but there will be uh, rooms with bunk beds and beds or just rooms with bunk beds, you know, stacked on bunk beds to make enough room for large uh, parties to uh, rent there for a period of time. You got to remember that people that are going to vacation rentals are looking for a fun week or fun weekend away or looking for time to relax there. So we want to make sure that we're highlighting the spaces that they're going to be inhabiting for the next few days uh, or weeks. So shots that are going to highlight the, you know, the comfiness of a spot. So in the case of vacation rentals, showing off the spaces and even the little vignettes of spaces for people to you know, play a board game, to watch TV, to sit at the counter and enjoy themselves while someone's cooking a meal. Uh, you know, getting shots like that, that really show you know, how much fun and how, uh, how much people can relax while staying there, I think are really important that you wouldn't necessarily uh, have for a real estate listing, but I think it's important to have for a vacation rental. Now again, for real estate listings and vacation rental listings, 
you know, whether someone's buying it or just renting it for a week, there's still a lot of emotion tied into those kinds of decisions. So we want also wanna make sure that we're capturing uh, images that not only display, you know, the space, display the architecture, um, but really, you know, make it look its best. Because when people see, you know, that, that, that vibrant image, whether it's a view of the ocean or the view of the lake or a nice sunset through the window, um, or just a nice vibrant shot of the living room or, or, a, or a bedroom, that uh, you know has a beautiful view, like those kinds of shots really you know, draw people in, make them you know a little jealous about you know wanting to be there. So whether it's they're gonna you know buy it or just rent it for the weekend, so we want to be on the lookout for those kinds of shots, those kinds of views um, that we can capture in order to deliver to our clients. Now I happen to shoot a lot of properties that are on the beach, a lot of properties that are in uh, condominiums. So a lot of times there's amenities involved or are available to the property owner or guests. In both situations, whether for a real estate listing or a vacation rental, it's important to make sure that you capture beautiful images of those amenities as really the bonus to staying at that property. People that are buying a condo are, want, are gonna wanna know, you know what's available to them on, on a daily basis while living there. People that are renting a place at that same condo are gonna wanna know, you know what's available for them to enjoy while they're staying there. So don't overlook getting shots of the amenities. It may take a little bit more time, but it's definitely worth it to get a couple shots of the pool or if they have an exercise room, an indoor pool, uh, a barbecue area, a place for the kids, so you know jacuzzis. So uh, those are things to investigate once you get on the property to make sure that you can get a couple shots of those. You may have to go to the front desk in order to get into like the pool or the saunas or the exercise room, but uh, do your best to get access to those so that you can get a shot and deliver those to your client. I hope this video has been helpful. Please make sure that you subscribe and like this video. I've shot hundreds of millions of dollars of real estate photos, video, and drone. Now I want to show you how to do it so you can build your own business or handle it all in house for your company. Don't waste valuable time searching for info or tutorials that may not even be what you need. I'm going over the gear you need to get started that won't break the bank. And I'll teach you the knowledge and skills you need to produce vibrant images and beautiful videos that sell properties and increase rental bookings. You can be a complete newbie or have any amount of experience. Whether you are a real estate agent or assistant, rental sharing owner, property manager, or looking to start or grow your real estate photography business, this is the course for you. Plus you get mentor access to me to ask questions along the way. Click the link below to get started.